I was working on a problem the other day when I decided to take a break and do something fun instead. So I was looking at my shelf filled with toys and I was thinking what can I do to make this guy a little bit more interactive because that's pretty much all he can do. So I've decided to have fun with it. I've been looking at the Iron Man and the ESP next to me and I was thinking like maybe I could fit one of these inside. I'll make an interesting concept. So I started to toy with it and figured that I actually can fit ESP inside. That's ESP 8266 revision 1. I had a couple of LEDs left from my LED projects uh, thanks to the Banggood. So I decided to use one of these with ESP. So I quickly wired it up to the ESP and glued it to the back so you can see the ready um, what well, unit in here. Now I can control this uh, LED using ESP device and an old red functionality. The signal pin is wired to GPIO 2. Once the hardware has been assembled, it was time to program the ESP8266 using Arduino IDE. I've used my Flash uh, programmer that I've used some time ago. As you can see guys, I've got a small showcase for you. I've got predefined strings in each one of the input messages, input uh, nodes. So this one is for true blinks in blue. I can do one red one. Or if you want, we can have a continuous fast red blinking. And it's going to continue until I clear it. This is the Arduino IDE sketch I've created for ESP8266. And I'm using a couple of uh, libraries, so fast LED to control the LED, obviously. There's an internet for ESP8266, PubSub client to control MQTT protocol. And I've got additional file which stores all the credentials. I'm not going to explain the entire um, script for you just gonna go through important bits so this is the bits where we set up initial values we uh, define data pin and the number of LEDs which is one and we set the topic to ironman slash notification slash that's it now the important bit is uh, how we handle uh, the requests uh, basically um, via MQTT um, ESP receives a string which consists of a couple of numbers First number, it's the how many times it's supposed to blink. The next three numbers are red, green, and blue channels to establish the color value. Then there is how long the LED is off for and how long the LED is on for. There is a also integer that decides whether the loop is continuous or not. And we also control the brightness. Now this message, uh, thanks to this function, is being split into bits and each bit of the message is assigned to separate values which later on in three functions they basically control the LED. So I have a first function is uh, for the LED to blink X number of times. Then I have one to clear the notifications and if I want to uh, make a continuous loop there is another function that controls that. Now going back to a tasker now, in order to link this with Tasker notifications, I've created this very simple profile. The profile responds to auto notifications. So auto notification is monitoring in this case for WhatsApp messages and for text messages from my mobile. Uh, once one of them is received, I've created HTTP post for each message type. So if my uh, message is from WhatsApp, I'm sending a um, this notification here, which is based on an a app uh, variable uh, created by auto notification, and if a an app name is messages, then obviously I'm sending this one. Those are basically the same HTTP requests. The difference is it's just a string I'm passing over. So let's take a look inside. Obviously, I configured um, the server and port using my values feel free to use yours, then the path is Ironman notifications, then I'm sending LED data and LED equals and then there's a string to control this um, notification and 
Uh, lastly, I'm just sending this as an application and uh, a www for my URL encoded and trust and certificate. The other one is exactly the same. It's just using a different string for different color. That's pretty much all. On the old red side of things, I have a couple of things set up. First of all, I've got my MQTT, which submits to Iron Man notifications topic. And now depends on how well I want to set the LED. I can do it manually from the inject nodes. And they, these just pass uh, strings. And basically this is a string. It says three times in blue, one second on three, 300 milliseconds off and full brightness. Now, if I want to receive that via HTTP endpoint, I have to create a HTTP post um, node and specify a URL to Iron, uh, Iron Man notifications, add the mandatory response node, and then translate the um, message because message is stored in message.payload.led into a payload. Now, I've mentioned before, I've set up notification for monitoring my website. So if my website is hard to reach, what I've got in here basically is a ping, which happens every 500 seconds. Now, if um, this ping will take more than one second, then something's wrong with my website and it will blink red continuously. If the ping is uh, less than one second, it's gonna just display steady green light. And I've assigned basically a payload uh, for blinking and pay payload for green steady light and that's being submitted to the same um, MQTT node. I hope you all enjoyed the project. Uh, if yes, consider leaving me a comment or maybe a link. And as usual, if you're interested in what I'm up to next, just follow me on social media and you'll get notifications whenever I'm sending, uploading or doing something new. So thanks so much for watching guys and as usual, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care and bye.